That right there is about as sleek as a design as you'll ever get. That's our A5 from Biopidae. You stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Greetings Biopidae fans, this is Alan, your media and marketing executive at Biopidae, coming at you with another great Tell Me About. Today's Tell Me About is on our A5 Stream Bidet. So here's the A5 Stream Bidet. As you can see, very, very sleek, stylish design right here, very, very compact. It has a slow close lid as well as seat. And as you can see on the underside here, the two spray nozzles for the bidet function. So this bidet, unlike some of our other bidet attachments, would replace your current toilet seat and lid. This is going to be hooking up just to your cold water source. So the common toilet supply line is gonna be able to hook directly to this with a T adapter, and it operates very, very simply. Don't know if we can zoom in on this one right here. This is gonna have a lever. It's going to have two different directions you can put it. One towards your feminine wash, or the feminine nozzle, and the other direction towards your posterior wash. Having it set in the middle here is off. Dialing it ever so slightly is going to increase your pressure towards either of the functions. So this is full blast posterior. This would be like half posterior. The A5 stream is going to attach onto your toilet a little bit differently than some of our other non-electric attachable bidets. Let's flip this over to the back side here. As you can see, it's got a large kind of rectangular section right here that is going to be locked onto a catch plate. The catch plate is going to look just like this. And as you can see, it has the word front on it, so you know how to place it onto your toilet, and then you simply slide this unit directly into it. So you would have this catch plate installed onto your toilet already, and you would slide your bidet onto the catch plate. When installing the catch plate, make sure not to tighten the bolts all the way down immediately. Position the catch plate, place the bolts down, and then lightly tighten the nuts, but you can also still position the catch plate back and forth several times before you attach the bidet on. Once you snap the bidet into place, you can still reposition it one last time to make sure it's got a good fit around the rim of your toilet before finally tightening the bolts all the way down. So this bidet is going to come with a set of plastic bolts as well as a metal locking bracket. These are to be used when installing the catch plate onto your toilet. Simply put the bolt through the metal bracket, slide that down through the catch plate, and then on the underside, you tighten the nut down, and that's what secures the catch plate to the bidet. On the right-hand side of the A5 stream, you have the catch plate release button. When you slide your unit onto the catch plate, it's going to lock, and this button is going to press out. In order to release your bidet unit from the catch plate, you press and hold this. This will release these little locking mechanisms that are moving, and you can remove the bidet from your catch plate. What's also included in your hardware kit is these top mount bolts. If you have a toilet that has smooth sides or does not have bolts that go all the way through to the underside where you can tighten it down, you would use these instead. I have a specific video that shows just how to install these. The link for that video is going to be in the description. You also have your bidet supply line here. Again, one side is going to have your funky little L angle on it. And this is the side that secures to the bidet. This is the side that secures to your T adapter. The T adapter that comes with this unit is a 7 8 at the top, 7 8 at the bottom, and 3 8 compression thread for the branch piece. That means the location of this is going to be installed onto your toilet's fill valve. It's also going to come with a single cone-shaped rubber washer. This is going to be inserted in here with the cone face facing up. Just like with all of our bidets, if any of the attachments, the T adapters, the supply lines, anywhere seem to be having any kind of leaks, you can always use thread paste, tape, or compound around any of those threads.